In this video, I'll go over some of the monitoring features you can use without Workspace ONE Intelligence, and then I'll show you how to enable Workspace ONE Intelligence. I'll also point you to some resources so you can see how much more you can do with Workspace ONE Intelligence. In the Workspace ONE UEM console, go to Monitor Overview. In the Enrollment Status Breakdown tile, you can click to drill down. You get a list of devices, and you can filter it if you have a lot. The Compliance section is one of the most important. For these other tiles, you can also click to drill down, and then in most cases, you are taken to a device list view. Red means the device is disconnected at the moment. The tiles on this dashboard are concerned with all the ways in which security violations might be occurring on devices. You can drill down on certificates to get all the details about all the certificates. Now let's look at how the reporting feature works. Go to Monitor, Reports and Analytics, Reports, List View. So you can pick one of these reports, fill out the search criteria you want, click Run, and then go over to the Exports page and then click Download to download the report you want in CSV format. Okay, now let's go look at the Workspace ONE Intelligence. Delving deep into Workspace ONE Intelligence is beyond the scope of this video. In this video, we'll go over enabling Workspace ONE Intelligence. Go to Monitor, Intelligence, and click Get Started. Scroll down and select Opt In. Click Next. On the Terms of Service page, scroll down to the bottom of the page, fill out your details, and click Accept. At this point, an intelligence tenant is automatically created for you, and the Workspace ONE Intelligence console appears. In the Services section, scroll down to the Workspace ONE Intelligence tile and click Start Dashboards. And then we could click Get Started and Add Dashboard to create our first dashboard. Now what you should do at this point is go see this great TechZone tutorial called Getting Started with Workspace ONE Intelligence Reports and Dashboards. You can aggregate data from a variety of sources, correlate the data for risk-based analysis, and automate proactive solutions. The big thing about intelligence is that you can collect data from many, many sources. The tutorial gets you started on configuring the automation connectors. For example, you can connect with third-party services such as Slack and ServiceNow. Here we'll just go to the Integrations tab and scroll down to see some of the third-party services in the Trust Network. Workspace ONE Intelligence provides many deep insights, analytics, and automation for your entire digital workspace. For more Workspace ONE technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com.